Hi, I'm Patu from Free Fin Cal. In this edition of uh, Fund Performance Report, let's take a look at Mire Asset Hybrid Equity Fund. So this fund was launched in July 2015. It has an AUM of uh, about 6,400 crores, so not too much. So we shall look at the risk and reward performance consistency of this fund with respect to two indices, the Nifty 100 TRI, Total Returns Index, and the Crystal. 65% equity, 35% bonds aggressive index. Now, uh, the analysis that we are doing is just representing the, the past performance. It represents the past performance and it should not be uh, projected onto the future. So you must uh, make sure all your investment decisions uh, consider that and also please consider your personal circumstances before you invest. Uh, make any investment decision for that matter. So let's start with the asset allocation um, history of the fund. You can see that the equity allocation, which is the orange uh, segment, and the debt is uh, blue and then the cash or other uh, investments is shown in gray. So it's a very stable asset allocation as it should be for uh, aggressive hybrid category. If you look at the large, uh, sorry, the market cap uh, allocation history, you can see it has been a predominantly large cap uh, fund the blue is large cap the the orange is mid cap and the uh, gray is small cap the others of course that's the bonds is uh, orange don't worry about that so it's been a, a, a predominant large cap uh, fund but it has got a small amount of mid caps as well and that's been a, a, a again a very stable asset allocation except from time to time the small cap asset allocation uh, changes now um, so now let's take a look at the expense ratio of this fund. So many people have been fascinated by the low expense ratio of this, but uh, you can see that uh, it has been very high in the past. They dropped it down and then uh, when the AO in comes in, they jack it up and then they drop it down and they've been reasonably stable here, but again, it started to move up a little bit recently. So don't worry too much about the expense ratio. That's just a bait to lure in the AO. So the first metric we shall use is the rolling returns outperformance consistency. So suppose you consider, uh, let's say, uh, 876 three-year rolling returns. Uh, there are 876 three-year return data. And out of that 876, the fund has outperformed the benchmark 675 times. So 675 divided by 876 is 77% outperformance consistency. So we shall do that for over three years, over five, four years and five years. This uh, data is available in the mutual fund screen. So you can now see over three years, the outperformance consistency is 100% with respect to the aggressive uh, hybrid index, 90% with respect to Nifty 100. Uh, over four years, it is 100% again with respect to the hi aggressive hybrid index, 86% with respect to Nifty 100. Over five years, it is 100% with respect to the aggressive hybrid index and 77% with respect to Nifty 100. So that's a very good uh, outperformance consistency. The next we shall look at is the upside performance. So what we shall do is capture the, uh, sorry, use calculate the upside capture, excuse me, and then uh, uh, calculate rolling upside capture. That is upside capture means you calculate monthly returns and you find out uh, those monthly returns when the benchmark was positive. And then you investigate during those uh, sp uh, specific months when the benchmark was positive, was the fund return higher than the benchmark or lower than the benchmark? So that is, it gives you an idea of what the fund does when the benchmark moves up. So we also, uh, so we define a similar uh, performance consistency for the upside and uh, higher the uh, consistency, higher the tendency of the fund to uh, do better than the index when the index is moving up. So you can see over three years, it is about 89%, 67% with respect to the Crystal and Nifty 100. Um, uh, over four years, it is 100% with respect to the aggressive hybrid index and 76% with respect to Nifty 100. And it's 95% over five years uh, with respect to the aggressive hybrid index and 67% with respect to Nifty 100. Now, uh, it, has, it has done quite well with respect to the aggressive hybrid index, but uh, not so much with the Nifty 100, but that's not uh, not that's not a big deal. In fact, it's it's a very rare thing 
for an aggressive for a fund to to uh, have consistent um, upside performance actually many funds get generate alpha with uh, consistent downside so downside is the exact opposite of upside here you find out months in which the benchmark return was negative then you ask during those months uh, did the fund uh, uh, get a return more negative than the benchmark or less that is did the fund fall more than the benchmark or not and then you similarly uh, use the downside capture ratio to define a downside performance consistency and you can see here um, that the downside performance of the fund with respect to the uh, uh, crystal aggressive hybrid index is not so high it's 47 percent for three years 27 percent for four years 24 percent over five years and so on the downside will always be 100 percent with respect to nifty 100 because the this fund will have some bonds and that will take care of the downside so that's not uh, something to be uh, uh, worried too much about so uh it's a so many uh equity hybrid fund is a kind of a upside performer kind of fund that is when the benchmark um, moves up it tends to beat the benchmark during those time when the benchmark falls down it doesn't try to protect the uh, the uh, the fall for investment investors at least with respect to the crystal uh, uh, 30, 65 35 aggressive hybrid index so those investors who don't mind this and uh, uh, who take the past performance of the fund seriously they can definitely consider this uh, this fund uh, uh, as a you know i mean in their portfolio but it must be understood it's an actively managed fund and there there will be uh, uh, times when the fund doesn't do well and there will be times when the fund does very well but so far it has got a uh, a reasonably good uh, history now let's take a look, look at the trailing returns that is the last uh, one year two year three year returns and so on you can see here the last one year returns of the fund has been um, much higher than that of the both the benchmarks. Um, the last two year returns have been higher, the last three year returns have been higher, the last four year and five year returns have also been higher. Only thing is the fund is a little more volatile than the aggressive hybrid fund that is the aggressive hybrid index that is the, the, the uh, now fluctuations of Mere uh, equity hybrid fund has been a little bit higher than that of the um, crystal index but that is uh, okay as long as the performance is okay the slightly higher risk is not a uh, that big a deal again if that is acceptable to you you can uh, take a chance uh, with this fund.